so in this exercise, what we're going to demonstrate is telekinesis. Uh, this is an, uh, a power or ability from the divine within. It's part of your aura. It's part of the chakras that go up and down your body. There's seven of them. And this ability to move objects is primary in doing spiritual healing. And the exercise is that to get energy between your hands and to build it up. More on that another time. But for today, I want to show you this is a real energy. We take a wand and we hold it at an angle like this so it doesn't move in your hand. We can't inadvertently move it with our own hand. So I'll keep that angle down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tense my solar plexus. This is the chakra in the center of my body. I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to push the energy out of my hand. And when I do that, it causes this rod to move. See, just like that. Now it's at an angle. I'll turn a little bit so you can see. It's at an angle and I'm pushing the rod with the energy from my hand. Okay, now it's going through your aura as well. You see, it comes back to the center. Pushing it again. Push, and it comes back. Okay, we have energy coming out of our body, not only by pushing it out of our finger or hand, we also have energy coming out of our solar plexus, uh, throat chakra, and head chakra. And this is the energy coming out, and you can see, same downward, Hand, and I'm going to show you this is the pulse of your solar plexus. This is the energy that's pulsing out of you now. Awesome. We're going to go up to the heart and look what happens. It pulses at a different rate. And we're going to go up to the throat chakra and look already it's pushing it way out here. Okay. okay. So see now it's pulsing again. This is your throat chakra. Okay. And now we go up to that intuitive part or pituitary, and as I start to let it bounce, it's bouncing, and it's coming way out here. Okay, now, the reason it bounces further away is this is the edge of the energy radiating out from the uh, pituitary pineal gland. The pineal gland is the psychic center, and as I move it closer to you, it sort of slows down, but if I can find the edge about here, it starts to move. Now it's bouncing off my aura too as well. So it's having a little trouble being up here. Mm -hmm. Not so much trouble in your throat because this is closer. And you can see it's bouncing quite a bit. Yeah. So your thyroid's in pretty good shape or your throat chakra. And as we check for the heart chakra, you immediately see the reaction as a shift in the pulsing, longer waves. So your heart chakra is doing okay too. And again, the solar plexus, which is the active one, this is bouncing between the two of us back and forth like a ping pong ball. Okay. So this is the energy that relates around the body. You also, and I can tell, just turn a little bit this way, John. When you look at the aura, we go down from the outside, we get down to your aura, and it bounces off your aura. Your aura mm -hmm. is sticking out from your body but this far. I'll come in across the head too. There it goes. So if I hold it on an angle still and come in, it pulses, it pushes. Mm -hmm. So this energy around us, this is the uh, unseen energy that people refer to as auras, yes. or healing energy, or the chakra energy. In the Bible it's called the seven churches, in other uh, religions it's called chakras, spinning wheels, doesn't matter. It's energy that we're creating through the life force within us. And if we meditate and we build up that energy, it becomes more powerful. So when we can lay hands on people, we lay them on their body, we can actually push that energy into them. And this can be taught, it can be practiced, and this is the way I teach people. Evidence. You can see the one moving. Yes. I'm not yes. moving it by my hand. Right. And you can do this yourself. I see. Thanks, John. You're welcome. Thank you.